This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and today I want to talk about bed bugs. I want to talk about why you're continuing to have problems with bed bugs, where bed bugs come from, and how you can hopefully eliminate this problem forever. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. It really does help me out and, you know, get the word out so we can nip these bed bugs in the bud. So, where do bed bugs come from? Bed bugs come from people. So, one of the ways that we can eliminate bed bugs from our home is to find out where the bed bugs come from. If we don't find out where the bed bugs come from, then we're going to continue to reinfest our home. If it's a friend or a family member, then you really need to practice tough love. You need to say, look, I'm sorry. I know you like to come over and we have parties and we hang out and it's really fun, but you're going to have to get rid of your bed bug problem before you come to visit because I can't afford to continue treat my house for this problem that you're continuing to bring into my home. I know that's hard and that's probably the hardest part of a bed bug service is trying to explain to people that they need to change their bad habits. And it's not your fault that you have a bed bug problem. It's mainly the, the fault of the people that continue to bring them into your home. So. We've, we've, we've tackled that specific problem, you know, friends and family. But there are other ways that you can bring bed bugs into your home that you may not realize. Uh, it's very common for your children to bring bed bugs into your home. How does this occur? So now that we're back into the swing of the school season and kids are going back to school, uh, they make friends on the school bus. And this is a really common occurrence with uh, bus age children that are actually using the school bus uh, in your neighborhood if you have bed bugs chances are there are other people in your neighborhood who also have bed bugs this is one of the things that happens is when children get on the bus they will transfer bed bugs back and forth to one another the way they do this is through book bags uh, swapping jackets coats clothing and you know, maybe even just a sleepover. You know, if they have a friend from school that they're really good friends with and maybe they invite them over and they have a sleepover, uh, it's really common for these children to bring bed bugs into your home and infest your home. Now, this does not mean you need to live in fear. This doesn't mean that you uh, can't have, you know, that your children can't have friends and they can't, you know, be invited over to your home. But the, the main thing is, is that you just need to find out if this is how the bed bugs are being brought into your home. And the reason I want to address this is because I have had several customers whose children ride the bus who've been picking school, uh, the bed bugs up off the bus. I actually worked for a bus driver several years ago whose bus uh, was actually infested with bed bugs. And it's a really, really common thing with school buses because it's very rare for an exterminator to actually treat a school bus. Um, school buses are not the most hospitable place for bed bugs to live. But the thing is, is adult bed bugs uh, only need a blood meal once every 18 months, and a nymph only needs a blood meal once every four months, and a bus is usually driven uh, even when the, the schools are shut down for the summer, they're usually not shut down for four months. And so the bed bugs absolutely can live on a school bus and use the school bus to kind of travel around throughout the city and be transferred from home to home to home. So maybe you should uh, reassess whether your children should ride the bus or not. And so uh, I know that's not, you know, a viable option for a lot of people. And a lot of people use the school bus because maybe they go to, to work real early in the morning. Maybe they get back late in the evening and they're just not able to, uh, you know, cart their children back and forth to school. So how do you, how do you deal with that? What do you do? Uh, is there anything you can do or are you just hopelessly, you know, doomed to continuously reinfest your house until your kids are 18 and move out? Um, 
or at least until they stop going to the you know public school and riding the bus. So there are ways that you can absolutely combat this issue. Um, and you may not, the kids may not bring them in from the bus, but this is just what I want to address here because I know that it has happened in the past with, with several of my customers. Um, so what one of my customers did was he actually followed the school bus. He, he went to school one day and he picked up his son from school and he followed you know, like the bus, buses have numbers like 101 or 121 or 131 or 45 or whatever. And he got behind that same school bus that always picks his child up every morning. And he followed him along the route. And he noticed that as they drove down the road, that there were several homes on his, you know, on the bus route that were actually throwing away their furniture. And he said, you know, everybody doesn't get together in the neighborhood all at once and decide, hey, let's do some spring cleaning and everybody throw away their couches and their beds. You know, beds and couches are not cheap. They're pretty expensive pieces of furniture. And in some of them, he said, some of these houses, they had couches that looked like they were maybe only six months old. They're brand new furniture. And people are throwing the furniture away because it's garbage. And, and yeah, it looks brand new, but it's garbage because it's full of bed bugs. And so he, uh, he started actually driving his child to and from school and he was able to do this. You know, he was able to change his schedule around to where he could actually take his child to and from school. We were able to eliminate his bed bug infestation and he hasn't gotten bed bugs since. It's been uh, years since I heard from him and uh, like I said, this absolutely did work for him. Now he didn't, I mean, he still had to treat the home. We did treat the house and we killed the, the bed bug problem in the house, but that kept him from reinfesting. This is what I wanna go over in this video. I wanna go over the, the, the high possibility of you reinfesting your house. So if you've been combating bed bugs for years, the reason you're combating them for so long is because you're more than likely reinfesting your house. Now, the pesticides at the store, you know, what you buy at Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, you know, even Target has some pesticides. You know, if you're buying these chemicals at the, at the store and you're bringing them home, chances are the bed bugs are immune to these pesticides. Now, uh, I, do, I do have a video and I'll post it, you know, right here or, or right there, wherever it comes up. It's usually a little circle with a little eye on it that pops up. Um, I did a video on pesticides at Walmart for bed bugs. And I actually went in and I looked at every single pesticide that's on the shelf at Walmart to show you which ones you could buy that actually work for bed bugs. And spoiler alert, none of them work. The bed bugs have developed an immunity or pesticide resistance to all of the chemicals you buy at Walmart. I just went in, and this was like two years ago I made this video. I just went in Walmart the other day and just rechecked just to see if they were selling anything different and they're not. It's all still the same garbage that was on the shelf for years ago. And some of the comments that I would get on that video was, how can they do this? How can they sell pesticides that, the, that aren't killing bed bugs, even though bed bugs are on the label? The reason being is because those pesticides used to kill bed bugs. So what happens is the bed, bu bed bugs actually develop a resistance to pesticides that are used on them on a regular basis. And because you get bed bugs from other people, those people have been spraying and the people before them have been spraying and the people before them have been spraying. And so the bed bugs eventually develop an immunity to these pesticides and they just stop working. It's not that they didn't work before, it's just they don't work anymore. So how do we do this? What chemicals do work? Well, most of the pesticides that you buy don't work. Um, you really need to use something that no one is using. And unless you're in pest control, unless you pay really close attention to the labels of the, the actual active ingredient of a pesticide, even if you order chemicals on Amazon or, you know, all the different websites, like even do your own and do, do my own pest control and the different sites out there, if you don't know what to buy, you're more than likely going to still buy the same thing that's on the Walmart shelf. Everything that I use in my business is, you know, you can buy. You can buy yourself. You just need to know how to use it. Um, in fact, in the description below, I have a link to my Amazon page, which I try to keep updated the best I can. 
uh, for bed bugs, for you know ants and spiders and crickets and all kinds of different bugs and mice and and everything is listed below. So you can absolutely use that link to follow and bookmark it and 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 you know keep those chemicals handy so you know which ones work and which ones don't. But uh, what I recommend you do is, like I said, don't buy pesticides from Walmart. Don't buy pesticides from Lowe's or Home Depot. Don't use things like diatomaceous earth and stuff that actually makes the bed bugs worse. It actually drives them crazy and makes them worse. Um, don't do these things. These are, these are one of the things that people do that make it really, really difficult to get rid of bed bugs. If you go and you spray these pesticides in your home or you use these dusts and things in your home, what it does is it drives the bed bugs deeper into the walls. It makes them go into rooms that they may not even normally want to go in, like bathrooms and kitchens. I've found bed bugs living all over houses where they really should be in the uh, bedrooms, but because the people have been trying to kill them on their own, they've actually ended up using repellents and chased them all over the house. And diatomaceous earth is absolutely a repellent. The bed bugs will not crawl through it. If they see it, they know it's there. They will not crawl through it. So uh, understand that this is you may be making your problem worse by trying to do your own pest control. So what I would recommend is using something like Crossfire. Crossfire is what I use in my business. It is a non-repellent pesticide you treat. And I've got lots of videos on how to use it, which I'll, I'll post a link here too about, you know, different different uh, applications and how to apply it and the beds and stuff you need to treat and how to do it. And uh, I'll put that on here too. But, um, and I, I recommend you go and watch that video if you're wanting to, to know the actual procedure for getting rid of bed bugs. But uh, if you do these things, you will kill your bed bug problem, but not forever. And the reason you won't get rid of them forever is because you're continuing to bring them in your house. And this goes back to the whole school-age children getting in and off of the school bus. So we figured out that maybe maybe you even were able to change your schedule. So let's, let's check that off the list. School bus. So how else can you bring them into your home? Friends and family. So if you have friends that have ever had bed bugs before, um, I would be leery that they may continue to have bed bugs. And you ask people, you know, just, you know, I mean, I don't know how you would go about asking somebody, hey, have you ever had bed bugs? You know, it's like saying, hey, have you ever had syphilis? You know, it's just like, you know, you can't just go up to somebody and ask them, have you ever had bed bugs? Or sometimes you can, you know, if they're a really good friend, you should be able to ask them. And if they have, you need to tell them, look, I'm sorry to say this, but, you know, I don't want bed bugs in my home. You know, and I don't think there's anything wrong with saying that. Um, movie theaters have bed bugs, and so try to stay away from movie theaters. Try not to go in, uh, sit down, and watch a movie because people will transport bed bugs on their clothing and they'll get them on their coats and jackets and stuff and they'll bring them in. I did a bed bug job last month where uh, I was actually talking to the man and I was getting ready to you know leave. I was finishing up and everything. He was out in his car waiting for me because normally when you do a bed bug job, people need to be out of the house until the pesticides are dry. And so I was talking to him out in his car and I noticed while I was talking to him that he had spots all over his coat. And he actually had bed bugs on his clothes. So he was infesting his car and taking his car all around everywhere. So you absolutely could be reinfesting from your automobile. So treat your automobile too. Not just your house, but your automobile as well. I know that having bed bugs can be extremely stressful. It can uh, be very upsetting to know that you've got a bug in your bed that's biting you when you're asleep at night and there's nothing you can do and it feels like you're just at a loss and that you're, uh, you've been fighting this problem for so long. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you understand why you have bed bugs and hopefully uh, try to combat the issue. You absolutely can get rid of bed bugs. I get rid of them every day. You know, it's not something that you have to keep the rest of your life. And I know it feels like it. And you think that you, uh, you know, there's nothing that you can do. Um, you've called exterminators and the prices are just through the roof and you just can't afford it. But if you follow my guides and my helpful hints and the stuff that I show people how to I'd get I help people all over the world get rid of bed bugs every day. It's not something that is out of your reach. You absolutely can get rid of bed bugs and be rid of the bed bugs forever. Um, 
like I said, you do have to be proactive and you do have to kind of explain to the people that, you know, that you got them from in the first place, look, I don't want these things in my house. You've got to stop bringing them over here. And you may need to have a different circle of friends, but you know, that's the way it is when you're dealing with these types of parasites. As long as you're willing to be proactive and do all the heavy work, hard labor, you know, flipping beds upside down, and this is the way you get rid of bed bugs. So, so what you have to do is first you need to, you need to purchase Crossfire. Now, this is 2021 and Crossfire is legal and, you know, you can get it, but you know how YouTube is, the videos stay on here forever. And so, uh, there may be a new chemical in the future, but for right now, I'm using Crossfire. I go into homes and I treat with Crossfire. You treat the baseboards, you treat the beds, you treat the seams of the mattress, box spring, take all the sheets off the bed first, you know, and then treat the box spring, treat the, uh, treat the mattress and treat your sofa cushions, uh, pull the cushions out if you can, treat the zippers around behind the sofa cushions, treat futon mattresses, they're the worst because they've got that zipper all the way around the outside for the cover. You need to treat that really, really well. Uh, if you can launder it, launder it, you know, anything that can be put in the dryer should be put in the dryer on high heat, like, you know, pillows and stuff like that. You can't really treat pillows with crossfire, but you can throw them in the dryer and, and kill anything that might be on the pillows. Um, heat treatments are just not very successful. Don't go and hook up space heaters in your bedrooms. Yeah, I've seen some pictures online of people that have been putting space heaters on their bed and, and, uh, you know, this is the way you can burn down your house. Don't do that stuff. You know, people, I know there's, there's YouTube videos out there where people claim, they claim to have been able to kill bed bugs using a space heater. They're, they're lying to you. That is absolutely not true. You have got to get a bedroom to 130 degrees plus to kill bed bugs. The thing is, babies die at 125 degrees and the adults, uh, the the eggs i'm sorry babies the eggs die at 125 degrees and the adults die at 118 degrees so that's really 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 hot that's very hot and you're not going to get to room that hot with a with a with a space heater you're just not you'll burn your house down first you know you'll overheat it and it'll shut off yeah, that's the thing so you just cannot do that it's not possible to do that if you're going to do a heat treatment you're going to have to call a professional and spend thousands of dollars and that's just the way it is if you listen to me and you understand that i'm just trying to help you you know i, I teach people how to get rid of bed bugs every day uh i've got a book on my amazon page too where you can go and you can learn how to do it it's a uh, i recommend the one that's got cockroaches and fleas um, that, that one is cockroaches, fleas, and bed bugs, all three. Uh, so I recommend going and, and reading that book if you're wanting to DIY this thing. So, uh, hopefully these videos that I do for you guys help. I, uh, I'm really just trying to help. I really hope everybody understands that I, uh, I want what's best for, for everyone, and I really would like to nip this in the bud. If I never did another bed bug job ever again, I would be happy because I run a very high risk of bringing them into my own home. And so, you know, it, it's just let's solve this problem together. Let's work as a team, and let's try to uh, push forward with this. You guys have a really great day. I really appreciate it. And like I said, consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help a lot. On Thursday nights, I do all my live streams. Tuesdays are when I release my videos if I have one. Uh, getting ready to go into the really busy season. It's the end of February now. It's actually already started. And uh, I work all the time. I own a 24-hour pest control business around Central Virginia. I service uh, uh, Lynchburg, Roanoke, um, you know, Charlottesville. I'm all over the place, so I stay really, really busy. And uh, I don't have a lot of time to make videos during the summer, but I will do the best I can to get as much information out there as I possibly can. And like I said, during the summer, you may not you may not have a video every week. Uh, you may only get live streams on Thursday nights, but that's where I can answer your questions. If you have any questions at all, I'll be there to answer them. So you guys have a really great night. I really appreciate it. Great day, great night, great wherever you are. I hope you're having a good day. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you later. Bye.